The chances are, especially if you're as old as I am, that Metallica's Master of Puppets album has been in your life for as long as you can remember. <laughs> but when was the last time you sat down and had a really close look at this awesome album sleeve? And have you ever seen it without the logo and title? Did you know that the man who created the artwork for Master of Puppets also provided artwork for albums by Metal Church, Anthrax and Testament? We're going to take a really interesting look at the artwork with and without certain elements and then at the very end I'm going to tell you how much the original Master of Puppets artwork sold for at auction 13 years ago so you'll want to watch till the end. First of all we're going to have a look at this logo and how amazing is this logo. It's probably the best logo ever I reckon don't you? Can you think of a better logo than this? I think for sheer epic solidity this logo is an absolute corker. I don't know what that font is here on the album title, but it's perfect really, isn't it? It's hard to imagine any other font. Actually, let me try and insert another font, see how it looks. No, 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 definitely not. <laughs> that does not work. So now let's take the title and logo off and have a closer look. So let's take a look at the fingers of the puppeteer himself or herself. Now here's my first question to you. Do these fingers have fingernails or not? There are kind of slight signs of fingernails, maybe? I mean, we're definitely seeing the kind of the, the backs of the fingers, so to speak, aren't we? And yet, we're not seeing fingernails there. Maybe that was intentional on the artist's part. By the way, the artist is called Don Broutigam. An interesting name, Don Broutigam. And I'm going to tell you what other albums he provided covers for in a minute, and you'll be quite surprised. Yeah, I don't think this uh, creepy master of puppets has fingernails. So imagine what he looks like. You know, does he have teeth? Does he have eyes? Who knows? We, we'll never know. He has quite a lot of strings that he's puppeteering here and each one is attached to a gravestone and looks like there's two, at least two strings attached to each stone. And if you look at the stones here, it almost looks at first as if the, uh, the stones behind the middle gravestone going back don't have tops to them. It looks like they're flat across, doesn't it? But if you, when you look at them again, you realize that you are seeing the tops of each cross going back there. And where exactly are the crosses going as they go back into the sunset? Yeah, that's quite a fiery horizon there, isn't it? So the album cover really is a combination of the, the Master of Puppets kind of drug concept and the concept of uh, disposable heroes, isn't it? You've got an army helmet there. Is that a bullet hole in the side of it? There? Hard to say. It looks like it could be. I don't know, maybe not. And then of course here we've got a uh, dog tag chain and the uh, the weeds are growing quite high here. And hold on, what's this? If we look if we look close into these weeds, look at this. It's Dave Mustaine. Oh my God. On a more serious note, one thing we definitely can see down here in the grass are Don Broutigam's initials. Very sadly, Don died in January 2008. 10 months before his Master of Puppets artwork sold at Christie's Auction House. Do you think this is Metallica's finest album cover? I mean, I think so. I think, obviously, Ride the Lightning is uh, a real contender, and it's such a strong concept, but I just think the colours and the composition of Master of Puppets are just impossible to beat, really. And it's really interesting to see it without the... Uh, the Metallica logo and the title because I think it stands up really well. Now let me tell you some other albums that Don Broutigam also designed. Get this, Metal Church, The Dark. Would you have ever expected that? I would never have looked at the cover of The Dark and, and thought to myself, oh yeah, that's Don Broutigam, all right. That's Master of Puppets like. The next one is Testament, The Ritual. Yeah, I mean, that's a nice cover, isn't it? But again, does that look like the work of the Master of Puppets artist? It's almost as if artists are really, really uh, versatile, isn't it? Now this this last one is the real head exploder. This is going to freak you out, unless of course you already knew. Don Broutigan provided the covers of Anthrax's Among the Living, <gasps> State of Euphoria, and Persistence of Time. I mean, the, the fact that the guy who created the Master Puppets artwork also brought us the cover of State of Euphoria, it's flipped my wig off, quite frankly. How do you feel about that? That's quite bizarre, isn't it? And lastly, let me give you that nugget of information I was teasing you with. Back in 2008, the Master Puppets artwork sold at Christie's auction for 35,000 US dollars. Now, I don't know about you. I mean, obviously I don't have that kind of money. I couldn't afford that. But at the same time, that seems quite cheap, doesn't it? For such a piece of metal history. The estimated price was 20,000 to 30,000 US dollars. And so it went for more than they expected. I don't know, maybe we all think that the metal world is, is bigger than it actually is. But if I'd heard that the Master of Puppets artwork had sold for a million dollars, I wouldn't be completely shocked by that, would you? What do you think? Let me know down in comments. Until the next time then, metal.